Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you and tell you all about the 2022 Winnebago Travados. So these are beautiful vans. I've got the 59G behind me and the 59KL. So I'm gonna kind of tell you the differences and do a quick walkthrough. I'll do a, my main walkthrough here on the KL and then we will do a quick walkthrough on the 59G. Here in front of the 59KL, I just wanna point out that right now I've got the AC running. Uh, you can literally not hear it. You would walk by this uh, van and not know that any was in there, that the AC was on. Um, it's phenomenal. So I think that's a huge bonus for the Pure 3 Lithium Power Pack by Volta is the fact that you can be living in it, cooking in it, doing all these things and no one knows you're there. So you can be in some parking lot if you need to be and you're not gonna be bothered. It's just kind of a huge bonus, but it is so quiet. You can't even hear it. I'll start at the top of the van with the marker lights and then we've got the radio antenna, a nice big windshield, and then to our front hood here, which I've already popped the. So we've got our ground and then our positive if we need to ever jump the van. Brake fluid, coolant, oil dipstick, and oil fill windshield wiper fluid, and our power steering fluid. So right down here at the front corner, you're gonna see a little square. Behind that is a tow hook. Basically, if you um, decide to do a little off-roading and you shouldn't have, and you, need, you get stuck and you need help being pulled out, that's where you would hook up. Now, also I want you to notice that this is the upgraded paint package on this Travato. So typically, if you go with the standard paint, this portion is gonna be black but we went with the full paint. So this is the silver full paint. You also have the option for the granite, the deep cherry, and the bright white. We have the aluminum wheels on the Travato, so a little upgraded wheels that look really nice. And then we have the power exterior mirrors that are controlled inside. And we have our uh, security light. A lot of B vans will just give you a small little light. You have a nice big long light LED. Winnebago has also beefed up the running board. So this is their uh, aluminum extruded running board. They do that themselves at Winnebago. If you wanna see more about that, which is really cool, you should watch my Winnebago factory tour video that goes over everything that Winnebago does. 75% of the parts and everything that's made in this B-Van are manufactured by Winnebago. So they're literally a manufacturer, not just a parts assembler. Now you'll also notice that Winnebago is really good about branding. They've got their W everywhere. You saw it in the front of the coach here, even on the running board. And we have the great little pet hook here. So you can tie Rover to that if you need to, or say you're out, you've got your bikes or something that you wanna secure, you can lock it into that um, right there on the front of the running board. The running board is through bolted into steel. So literally, it's not going to move. It's very strong. Standard on the Travato are, uh, it comes with sumo springs. So as we all know, not all roads are created equal. <laughs> Some are a lot worse than others. And this is gonna take that jarring effect that you feel when you're going on a bumpy road and smooth out your ride. So you're really gonna notice a big difference. I want to bring your attention to the windows right here. So you'll see that every other uh, manufacturer that buys the same chassis is going to start their window here and it's going to be one big window and it's going to go all the way back to here. Well, Winnebago doesn't do that. What they do is you get a smaller window, but there's a reason for that. It's because they've got insulation all around it, which is going to make help you keep your van cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. And then the other bonus on a day like today that it's gorgeous, nice little breeze, um, it's heavenly here, honestly. Uh, I can just open up the windows and I don't even need to run my AC. Now, I, I am still running the AC, but you can't hear it, but literally you don't need it today because we've got a nice cross breeze and you can open up the windows and enjoy the outdoors.
Perfect. Just inside the front door, a few things to go over. First of all, you have a great grab bar, which is always nice to safely get you in and out of your van. But this is a Ram track as well, so you can add accessories to that if you need to. And it's just a lot sleeker, less bulky this year for 2022. Right around the corner, you can attach a table, and I'll show you that once we get inside. Um, so if you want to turn your co-captain's chair around and have a workstation here, you can. Winnebago has thought of everything because look at this. So now you've got your two 110 outlets and your USB charging ports here. So if I swivel that chair around and do a workstation here, I can literally you know, be enjoying the outdoors while I'm sitting here working. Over to the left, we've got our fire extinguisher. You ought to go check out my protein video on a fire suppression system. Fire extinguisher is great because you can use this outside or inside, but if you want a little extra protection, you should check out protein. Right here is the button for the under lights of your running board, which are nice to kind of illuminate that area. Two 110 outlets, and then we've got the controls for our awning. So we can extend those and retract them, and we can turn on the lights. So out and in, and then on and off for the lights for the awning. Now, if you're sitting out enjoying the beautiful day and you need some shade, you can do it right here from your phone. So you just download the Carefree Awning app and hit the extend. Nice awning, 13 feet long. Now that I have my awning extended, I want to go ahead and turn on the lights. As long as I've got the light button on inside of the van, I can turn them on and I can dim them too, right there on and off from the app. The Carefree Awning also comes standard with a wind sensor. Before I move on, I want to show you really my favorite, well, I have lots of favorites, can you tell? One of my favorite features of the Travato and the way that Winnebago does their screened in porch, basically. So it's all wrapped up here and you just unclip it super easy. So when I'm done using it, I can just roll it right back up but it just rolls down, zip it closed on both sides, secure, gonna keep all those bugs out. And then this is the best part. So now to go in and out, I don't wanna have to use the zipper every time because we've all, um, well, I've been tent, tent camping a lot in my life and I'm telling you, I've ruined more zippers than I've not. And so this is the roll-off system. It just is magnetized here. So you can easily step in and out. And then the other great thing is you've got your pets with you. They can go in and out. And you're not, and, and really if you have your kids with you, you're not screaming at them to zip up the, you know, zip up the door, zip up the door. It's just so easy. Love it. The Travato comes standard with the 210 wattage solar panel up top. Now if you want to add more solar power, you can add a total of 400 watts. So you could really add 190 more. And this is where you could uh, plug that in if you have like an external solar panel that you wanna walk out into the sunshine and plug in, you could do that right here. Then we have our coax and 12 volt and two 110 outlets. And then just below here, the Travato also, also comes standard with the blind spot monitors. So you've got one for the passenger side and the driver's side. Here at the back of the van, let's go over everything that we see from top to bottom. So very top, you're gonna see like the little disc-like thing. That's your over-the-air antenna. Then we've got our marker lights. And then just below that center marker light, we have the camera for the rear view camera. Now when we get inside, I get to show you something new for 2022. It's a game changer, I'm telling you. The digital rear view mirror gives you a shot uh, from the rear camera that you forget that you're looking at a camera. It's just so clear and crisp. It's really, really nice. Love it. Then we've got our ladder and we can move this ladder if we need to get, you know, say we need to go um, wash off the solar panels. Um, this is really easy to move. You can, it will support up to 225 pounds and I'll show you how it moves in just a second. Let's finish up here. Got our brake lights and then down here at the bottom, we have our hitch. 
Uh, you can tow 300, uh, 3,500 pounds, and we've got the four-way here for our brake lights. Here on the rear right side of the van, we've got the quick neck for our LP. And then on the left side, we have the T-bar for our gray and black tank. So there is a little lock here on your ladder. So you can tighten this up and then lock it. I've already unlocked it and I'm just gonna finish taking that off. So you just take it out and then lift it up and I can walk over here. I can see my solar panels are about right there. So I'm going to just hook that over the side and just make sure it's nice and secure and then you can go up and wipe off your solar panels or whatever you need to do up on the roof. So the cargo rack we will support up to 200 pounds, basically 40 pounds per cross member, and we have five cross members. Did I mention that the Travado is the best-selling uh, B-Van in the country? And this floor plan is one of my favorites. Here on the door, is the toilet paper holder. It's nice because obviously this is going to be in your shower uh, as well. So they've got a cover for so that your toilet paper doesn't get wet. I love having the rear bath because basically everything inside the van, you don't have, you don't have this bathroom kind of midship. But anyway, personally, I just, I, I think this works really nicely. So let me go over everything that's back here. First of all, we obviously have our shower, just gonna jump up there. shower, medicine cabinet, with a mirror. Right underneath the medicine cabinet, we've got the water pump and the light for the bathroom. And we have our nice shower head here. Now this is the Oxygenix shower head. Couple things about this, you can change the pressure of the spray here, and then you can literally turn it on and off from here. So basically when you're trying to conserve water because you've got a 18 gallon freshwater tank, so you really wanna probably be taking a military shower um, unless you're hooked up to city water. So this will help you save that water because you can lather up and then rinse off. So that's really nice. And then you've got your dial here for your hot and cold. And it's got a nice little spot here. And you've got a shower curtain that gives you the privacy from the rest of the coach. And then we have the cabinets here that are going to be protected that you don't have to worry about them getting wet. And we've got adjustable shelves inside here. We've got our 30 amp shore power cord in there. Nice size, really big drawer. Look at all that storage you have in the bathroom. It's really nice. All right, so I love this. First of all, look at how nicely that fits. Nice and taut. It's not gonna rattle when you're going down the road. And then this is your sink. So this is really cool because Winnebago, this is one of those things that they make in their Rotocast um, building. Basically, they've made this specifically for this unit so it's not bought from another manufacturer that they've got to use whatever they give them and then make it fit. This is designed for Winnebago for this floor plan so that it works right like it's supposed to. And then you bring out your faucet here. Again, that is a nice residential faucet and it's gonna drain right into the drain here. And when you're done, you're just gonna push it back. Everything's gonna go into the drain and it just snaps back into place. That third toilet with the push pedal flush. And then we've got our, um, you know, Winnebago is so fancy you have your own bidet. Kidding? <laughs> really, this is just to fill um, the toilet with water and then you can also rinse it out afterwards um, or use it as you may. <laughs> just to the right of the toilet, we have the furnace. And then we've got the nice little pan here for the shower drain and this board here so that you're not gonna have to, you're not gonna worry about slipping in the shower floor. Right here is a service access for the plumbing. So we have a nice panel here. Notice at the top, we've got the 10 LED lights. When I hit that light switch, not one little LED light. So Winnebago just gives you more, you get more with them. And then it's just nice, everything looks nice. These will become the shower rod if you want to make this your outdoor shower. So it's super easy. You're just going to thread that up there, nice and easy, and do the same on the other side. Then you're just gonna bring the two poles together here. A 
line up the holes. There we go. So now we've got the shower bar and right inside this little compartment here, we have the privacy drape. So you're just going to, now obviously you don't need to do this because you have a shower right there, but you know, this is just gives you another option, especially if you've got someone that's super tall that's traveling with you. It's just, and plus it just kind of makes your bathroom twice as big. So you're gonna secure your privacy drape. Now I've got the blackout cover on the window here, so I can go right past that. And I'm just gonna take my magnets and do one high here, and then one over here to make sure I close off that little spot. But what's nice about this, even if you're not using, you know, if you're using this shower, but say you're coming back from the beach, you're hot, you're sweaty, you wanna change out of your swimsuit, maybe rinse off the sand, this is a great way to do it because you're not in a small, smaller cramped space. You've got all this, you know, area here. So it's really nice. Plus you can do it with the kids too. So you can have them out here, get the sand off them, and then everyone gets in the, in the van. Here's the button for the light that I talked about, the nice big LED light. 12 volt receptacle, 2110, and all of our little good stuff behind there. The shower, hot and cold. We have our satellite and cable input and we can turn on the water pump right back here. Then this is gonna tell us how we can hook up the hose for to fill our freshwater tank, how to winterize, all the instructions are there, super easy. Black tank rinse, and then we have our city water fill. So you can hook up right here to fill up your freshwater tank. Freshwater tank is 18 gallons. Uh, your black and your gray are both 12 gallons on the um, 59 KL floor plan. Now with the city water, if I'm gonna be taking a shower out here, I know everyone's coming back from the beach and they wanna shower, rinse off, I'm gonna go ahead and just hook up my city water right there, then I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna have to worry about using my 18 gallons of fresh water. A few other things in here that are super important. So we have an air pump here, so we can air up our tires if we need to. Also you can uh, air up the you know the beach toys if you've got floaty rafts and stuff like that but more important probably for your tires if you ever need it <laughs> and we've got the stinky slinky the jack in case you ever need to change a tire and then these are the little magnets for your privacy shade now this is going to be your additional you know, if you just want to hose off the sand off your legs, this is probably going to work better than the actual shower. So you can hook that up. Right here. Super easy. Now I can go ahead and close the door here. You're probably wondering what the strap is. This is going to help you open the door if you've got the bed down. So otherwise it'd be very difficult. I also have the blackout shade up here. It just snaps into place. And then if you wanna have the window, really easy and you can just roll that right into there. Just around the corner, we have the connection for your sewer hose. And then just above that, we've got the uh, blind spot monitor for the driver's side of the coach. And then straight up above, we've got our security light here on the driver's side of the van the exhaust for our hot water and furnace, storage for our stinky slinky. So we have a nice little spot for that. And then right next to it, we can fill our um, LP tank here, 25 pound LP tank, 30 amp connection for our short power cord, and then the exhaust for the engine, and our fuel fill for the 25 gallon fuel tank. All right, so you've seen all the great features on the outside. Let's go inside and see what they've got to offer inside. Finally, to my favorite part, the interior. This is the Indigo Blue interior package. We've got the Colombian Walnut cabinets with the white uppers. Now you can also just choose to have the Colombian Walnut so they're all dark, or you can go with the Weathered Teak, which is a lighter wood finish. Winnebago uses the Techniform 
cabinets. They're made in Italy. This is one of the things that they don't make, uh, but they're super light and durable. And look how nice they open up and they stay there. Now, remember, anytime you've got a cabinet storage compartment that's attached to a wall, it's attached, it's backed with steel. So, again, nothing's going to rattle as you are going down the road. And then the other big bonus here is you actually have a latch. A lot of the competitors don't have a latch here. So, it locks. If I'm going to fill this full of waters and I have to turn quick, and those waters are all pushed this way that door is not going to come open because there is a latch so another nice feature so you can see all the storage that you get in the kl floor plan i'm going to go ahead and open them all up and we're not done two more compartments now how about that i'm not going to have a problem <laughs> getting all my uh, clothes and gear in here. No, no worries at all. Also want to mention that the interior height is 6'3". So I'm in heels. I'm about 5'6 with heels. I've got plenty of space. Anyway, it makes it feel big and roomy in here. I also like the KL floor plan because you have this nice aisle walkway, easy access to the bathroom. Easily, you know, you can use these. Uh, we've got the twin bed made up right now, but you can make this one big bed as well. In the cabinet to my left, I've got the roof access port. So if you want to add a Wi-Fi range or something, very easy to do there. Two 110 outlets. We've got the 12 volt, two USB, and it is pre-wired for cable and HDMI. We also have nice over the cap storage here. Now this is where most people are gonna keep their shades, their blackout shades for the cab and these are so nice they've got them they're light they're easy to use i'll show you in a little bit how easy they are to put up and black out so i really really like them and we've got a rug back here for our entry area here if we want to keep the uh, vinyl nice and tidy which i think you will so new for 2022 we have the control panel all the controls are located right here above the front entry door which is really nice and convenient First of all, we have the light, and this is a toggle switch, so you can have a dim or a brighter light there. Then we've got the power control system. So basically, that's just going to tell us what we're hooked into 30 amp or what our service is, and then we can change that if we know that we're going to pigtail down to like 15 amp. We want to make sure that we change that here. Back to 30 amp. One place we can turn on our water pump. It's also going to show us our tank levels in our freshwater tank, our LP gas tank, and our gray waste tank, and our black waste tank, and our battery levels. Truma, this is our um, on demand hot water system and furnace. So we're going to select the little furnace there, and then we can turn that on. off and then we'll go to the hot water again we can take that through the different modes that we have options for eco hot and boost now here we can use a propane and electric heat together our fan timer set the clock and this is just uh, customizing our settings. Right below this, we've got the thermistor for the coach. So that's gonna communicate with the thermostat, make sure it stays nice and cool or warm, whatever you have it set at. And this is where we can turn our inverter on and off. And we can display that we've got it on and off. So that's really easy, easy to get to. LP on and off. And then these are our holding tank heaters. We can turn it on and off from here. So if you know it's going to be super cold um, or even getting a little bit close to where it might be freezing, you are going to want to go ahead and put your holding tank heaters on so that you don't have to worry about your gray, black, or freshwater tank freezing, cracking. So this is an exciting thing to talk about here in the Travato because we have the Volta Power, which is basically our Pure 3 power management package. It's our lithium batteries. Now standard 
for the Travato, you get 11,400 watt hours. We did the upgraded package on this KL and we have the 12,800 watt hours with the 3,600 watt inverter. So this, this coach is powered by this system 100%. So this is gonna be just like you, um, you've got 120 volt power, just like you are plugged into your 30 amp um, shore power cord or if like you were running a generator if this had a generator but basically we don't need it on this um, van here so the cool thing about this just to give you an idea of um, the power and how much it will do for you it's amazing so it's 81 degrees here today which has been pretty pleasant but we have been running the ac all day we started with a full fully loaded um, now we are at about 75% power. So the really cool thing is there's an app that tells you exactly what you have left. So right now, 74% um, charged, and I could live like this for three days. Now, right now I'm not running the AC, so that once I'm running the AC, that would not last a full three days, but you can watch it really easily. So the three most common questions we get about the Volta system is, you know, how long, how long will I be able to run everything? How long will it last? Um, how do I charge it? And then what's the warranty? So let me go through each of those. So how long will it last? Well, it depends on how much you're using. So you just saw with what I'm using right now, I've got, I can go like this, exactly like this. And I've got the windows open, nice breeze, three days three days. Now I'll turn on the AC a little bit later and then I'll go in the test drive so you can watch how I try, drive it. So that goes to uh, question number two, how do you charge it? So there's three ways that you can charge it. So the fastest way is by driving it. So 1% per mile. So go and drive 50 miles, you're gonna charge it 50%. Um, so that's the fastest way to do it. Second way is you can plug in which is a little bit slower. And then the third way is from solar power, which is the slowest. So to give you an example, um, if I wanted to fill my swimming pool with a garden hose, that's sort of how it would charge with the solar panels. Uh, if I wanted to fill my swimming pool with a fire hose, that's like driving the coach. So when I'm driving, I'm gonna charge it the quickest. And then the third question is what's the warranty? So Volta gives a three year warranty and Winnebago believes in this system so much that it gives an additional five years. So you have eight years of warranty on this system. So you just have to kind of balance in your mind. Is it worth the um, extra money to have the lithium power pack? Um, or would you be happy with the 59G that's got the generator? Um, you know, it's just one of those options you can weigh. I mean, this gives you clean, quiet, comfortable power. And literally, you can have the AC running, I can have the lights on, I can have my blackout shades up. No one outside would know that I'm in the, in the van, which is kind of cool. And then it just is very quiet and comfortable to be in. So just have to decide for yourself if it's worth the extra money. Another cool feature of the Volta system, let's say I put the van in storage and it's at 75%. And I go back one, two, three months later, it should be exactly at 75%, just like it was when I left it. It doesn't drain. Just below the Volta, we've got the Flying W. So do any of you know how they came up with the Flying W? Because it's iconic for Winnebago. So John K. Hansen, the founder of Winnebago, his son was like six years old and he wrote out Winnebago and that's how he drew it with the flying W that extended over the rest of the word Winnebago. So they use that throughout the, their coaches and it's just kind of cool. You see it on the running board. They use it for the little coat hooks. Um, I just love it because they're constantly reminding me of the brand and, it, and its uh, legacy. So the light switch for the passenger security light outside and inside the coach here. Look at the beautiful galley kitchen in the Travato. So just little things to note. First of all, we've got the Ram track right here. So we can add different accessories here. We could take this one and move it to one of the other Ram tracks if we wanted. Uh, the window, you know, 
it's a big deal. And then check out the countertop. Beautiful solid surface countertop. And what I really love is they've given us two 110 outlets, two USB charging ports. So if you want to put your Keurig right here, you want to do an Instapot, you can use that right here. And the cool thing about the Volta system, you can have that on while you're driving down the road. So you're charging it, you're using it. You could have food in the Instapot or the crock pot. And once you get to your destination, dinner is ready. I love that. So again, Winnebago and the Travato gives us the windows that open. And then we've got insulation all around that. And we've got the cassette shade. So once you wanna, you know, make the Travato nice and black, dark for bedtime or watch a movie, it's so easy. We have the induction cooktop. Now induction cooktop, any pan will work that a magnet will attach to. So you can use that here. And then we have the large microwave convection oven here. So I've actually had people bake a loaf of bread in their convection oven. So don't be afraid to try stuff like that. And then nice size refrigerator and our little freezer up there and the locking door on that. Love that and that's super important so that everything doesn't fly out when you're driving. Nice drawer there. And then we've got the Eco Hot system. So basically this is just gonna warm your water before you use it. Turn it on. If you wanna have instant hot water, you'll just use that. Again, look how big that drawer is. Tons of space and it's gonna, you know, you, it's gonna latch shut. So it's not gonna fly open when you're traveling. And furnace. Nice stainless steel sink. We can use this as a cutting board if we need to, our little sink cover there and residential faucet. And it's never fun to cook or do the prep in the dark. So you've got the push button lights on both sides of the kitchen under cabinets. You're probably wondering what this is right here. Um, Winnebago is so uh, creative. I figured it was a pull out cutting board or extending shelf. Um, and it is, but it just doesn't work the way I initially thought it <laughs> was going to work. So. I pull out the extendable shelf here and then it flips over and then look how sturdy that is. I mean, that's a great workstation. So I can use it for a prep in the kitchen or I can actually just use it here at put my laptop up here, iPad up here. This is a great working station because if I have the door open with the screen, it's like I'm in the outdoors. Also, this is a great view of the TV. And I've got two USB charging ports, two 110 outlets, and then when I flip this over, this just locks into place. Another thing that I love that Winnebago does is they, everything is, you know, nothing's rickety. Like this isn't rickety, it's not gonna make a lot of noise when I bring it back and lock it into place. It's not gonna rattle when I'm going down the road. Um, I'm gonna show you the TV bracket here in a second. So strong, um, just quality. Another cool feature that you get is this secured, you can lock this cabinet. So if you wanna leave some valuables in the van while you're out exploring for the day, no need to worry, you can lock them right up safe and sound. Now, if I come over to the co-captain's chair here, and now I, I've had this nice table to work on over here, I want a table here. So let me show you just a second because we've got this. Remember I showed you this when I walked in, the USB uh, charging ports and the outlets. So now I wanna set up shop right here because maybe my partner has his stuff sh um, set up right here. I'm just gonna go over here underneath the cushion. Nice place to store this table. And there are several places that you can put it too. So I'm just going to thread that on here. So you're just going to tighten it and then you can adjust your table. So how nice is that? So again, I'm going to have the, I could have the table out here, table here if I need a lot of space, but this is great. Again, I can have the beautiful view of the outdoors here while I'm working, look down the full length of coach and I can turn the TV so that I can watch TV from here. Now I want to give you another option for your tabletop. So I'm going to go ahead and put the leg in here. And then I'm going to grab my table. I'm 
So now I've got another option for a table, but really I'm probably going to sit right across from it. Swing it up here. And so this can be my workspace. This is where I can sit and have breakfast, watch the morning news. Super great. I love this. So many options and, you know, not just for me, for all those people traveling with me as well. We've got our 24 inch TV with sound bar and Bluetooth option as well. So you can either play your music from the car play at the front of the van, or you can Bluetooth in here to your sound bar. Okay. So you have a release here and then you can direct the TV whichever way. So if you want to watch from bed at night, you can put it this way. If you want to watch from the captain's chairs, you can do the other way. And then this is what I talk about when I say quality. Push it back into place and do you hear any rattling? So it's nice and sturdy. Made by Winnebago. Great windows in the Travato that open so you can get that crosswind. So nice. And then we have the Ram track and you can put whatever accessories you want to on there. So if you want to move that one from the kitchen over here, because you've got gear you want to hold here, you can do that. And then you can get, you know, look at the accessories online um, for more Ram track accessories. The anything keeper right here. So let me show you how cool this is. The, uh, how Winnebago thinks of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my phone so I can charge it, keep the cords out of my way just thread that through there now I can totally sh put that up there it's gonna be out of my way and I'm gonna plug that right into my USB charging port and you can see that's out of my way charging my phone got the light switches here push button lights there on the opposite side we've got the two 110 outlets that are just below the countertop and then as we come into the bedroom area here, a big window again, Ram track, anything keeper, reading lights, and two USB charging ports. So I want to demo the reading lights. I love these because you just press one time, you get a nice soft like blue light. And then if you push and hold, it will go nice and bright. So you get to choose and then just off. I love the options that the KL floor plan provides. So you have the two twin beds. So very comfortable, we'll sleep two adults, no problem. Um, but if you wanna have a big bed, then you just, it's super easy. First of all, let me just show you a little bit of the storage that's underneath here. So just gonna move my little cushion. Now I like that cushion there because basically if I just wanna lounge during the day, I'm gonna keep that up and then I can watch TV here, read a book, and it's super comfy. Or if I need to get into the storage below, I'll just move that over there. And we've got a third cushion. We're gonna use that when we make the, the full bed, but it's a nice spot to keep that. Also can keep that tabletop here. More storage, see they even give you that little cutaway. So no space is wasted, and then this big storage here underneath the bed. Then we have the Zoomy flat system here that's going to be kind of like your box springs for your bed so it makes it really comfortable and let me show you what we've got on the other side as well so lift that up lift up and you can see the storage underneath this side a little furnace outlet there and then to make that bed I'm just going to pull the slat system out. And then these cushions just fill up that space. So it doesn't get any easier than that. And now you've got this huge bed. What I forgot to tell you earlier is that you do get two seat belts on this side, on the driver's side. So two seat belts and you get this on both sides, little cargo net area. So again, I could put my cell phone down there, plug it into the USB port there so that I don't have any wires hanging from 
uh, underneath the cabinet. Right below the driver's side bed, we've got two 110 outlets, a furnace outlet, and then we've got a nice big cubby space here underneath the bed. Below the passenger side bed, we've got our fuse panel, and they're all nicely labeled. Our LP um, propane alarm, and then our breaker box. And it's nice that they give us this little cover to hide it and just make everything look nice and tidy. Also have a nice privacy door between the bathroom and the bedroom. And then up here on the ceiling, we've got our carbon monoxide alarm. We've got the Coleman Mach 10 NDQ, which is the non-ducted quiet AC unit with the digital readout. And what's really cool about this, let me get my phone from the charging station here. You can download the RV Climate app and then you can control everything from your phone. So just go to your main and you can set the temperature here. And then you can fan low, fan high, cool low, cool high. And it will turn right on. We have the Max Air fan. So this is great when you're cooking, but also on a day like today that it's pretty outside, I could just open this up and have the fan gently running and pulling some cool air in here for us. And then we have our smoke alarm. Now for a quick walkthrough of the 59G Travato. So the big, big difference here is that we have a generator and we don't have the lithium battery power. So um, that's your big that's your big difference and there's a cost difference there. So it's just, you know, that's what you'll have to determine which, what is a big deal to you. We've done some nice changes to the G floor plan. So first of all, this whole area has been redesigned. These seats are way more comfortable and you can actually get two full-size adults there. Now they don't make into a bed, but it does give you some storage here and you do have the locking storage there. We've got the lagoon table and you can use that here or you can go ahead and put it in the ram track there and use it here. Ram track here as we walk in the door and then they gave us a nice charging station. So charge USB input and 110. And we also have the Ram track here, push button lights, sound bar, storage with a roof access port, port that's right back in here, along with two USB uh, 12 volt and one 110 outlet that's available. TV placement totally redesigned for 2022. Uh, Winnebago is big on listening to the voice of the customer and the voice of the customer told them they could do this better. And so they listened and made the change. So you can have the TV here. You turn around your captain, co-captain's chairs, great. Um, now, if you want to release it and say, I want the TV to be, I want to watch it from outside. I'm going to have my lawn chairs out here. I may want to sit outside because it's a beautiful day, watch TV, or I can take it all the way out and face it towards the bed. And now I can watch TV in bed. In the kitchen area, you get a big pantry with adjustable shelves and even a little mirror. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> to check out, you know, if your makeup looks good when you're getting your food out of the pantry. Then we have the microwave and we get the bigger refrigerator, freezer in the G floor plan. So you have refrigerator and nice big freezer. couple bonuses to the G floor plan. Then we've got the kitchen. We can extend that countertop right here. And then our beautiful kitchen here. Love the countertops and we can extend that countertop really easy. That gives us a lot of extra working space. We can use this as a cutting board, residential faucet, and we've got the propane two burner cooktop, two 110 outlets, and then check out the storage. Again, with the drawers that latch shut. Lots of storage there. Little spot here for all of our miscellaneous items. Great storage above. 
max air fan here and then I'm moving back into the bathroom area so that for toilet with the pedal flush just like in the last uh, in the KL and then we've got the towel bar which is nice little storage area shower curtain and then our sink another little storage area mirror nice little bathroom back to the bedroom slash cargo area now this is a great floor plan if you want to bring bikes or you've got some toys that you want to bring along a blow up paddle board whatever it may be it gives you some space in here where you can put those things I want to go through the storage here below I mean really nice storage there love these compartments that they've given us here and again they're always thinking about where can we be charging our devices 12 volt outlet here two 110 outlets and then check out the storage above nice big compartment here same size over here we've got our anything keeper which i'll pull down in a minute and we've got a little basket for miscellaneous items reading light so again this is going to give you that blue light first touch and then hold is going to give you the bright light now we've got our murphy bed here i love that winnebago uses they just they think smart so these are the legs that are going to give you the shower curtain bar for your privacy drape there in the back but this is a great place for them to be stored and then this is going to give you the support leg when you put the murphy bed down i'm going to release the murphy bed here by just pushing a little seat belt hook bring that down how easy is that <laughs> I love that a few things to talk about this is the win sleep mattress and there's several layers to this so first layer is an antimicrobial layer and keep things nice and sanitary then we've got a freeze layer so that's going to help you stay cooler while you're sleeping so you don't get hot and sweaty and then we've got the um, nice like sort of like a memory foam kind of mattress so it's going to be comfortable it's not going to get all, all hard um, in those cold winter months push button lights here ram track anything keeper another push button light two 110 outlets and then just up around the corner we've got the two usb charging ports here at the rear of the coach we've got a nice storage compartment again that nice 10 light LED light so we can see what we're doing back here. And in the little compartment here, we've got our external shower hookup hose here. So we can, look at that, that's a fancy one too. We can adjust the spray. I like that. And it's gonna hook in right here. This is exactly the same as it was on the KL, so kind of our wet, wet bay. And then we've got our 35, um, 100 pound hitch and then we've got our quick connect and just around the corner are our black and gray tank drains and on the g you've got an 18 gallon freshwater tank 11 gallon black tank and 14 gallon gray tank finally to the cockpit area of the travato so lots to go over here first of all let's cover the seats because i get asked that all the time they are a little confusing at first you'll get used to them so this knob here is going to adjust your lumbar support this is going to raise or lower the back portion of the seat and this will raise or lower the front portion of the seat our parking brake here and then this corner piece here is what's going to bring your backrest up or back so just like i pulled this corner piece out now i'm going to go to the opposite side pull that corner piece out, that's gonna allow me to swivel my seat. So I get asked that all the time. How do you swivel the seat? That's it, and right in the center is a lever for you to bring the seat forward and back. And you're gonna have to move the seat forward and back as you swivel to get around the steering column. Below my feet are the chassis batteries. Let's go over to the door. We have a nice big compartment for storage, a drink, and then we've got the controls for our external mirrors here so we can adjust them so that we can view the best you know possible view that we can get and then if we want to bring these in they are powered so if you once you're parked you want to bring it in go ahead and bring it in and then you've got your window controls and your lock and unlock right here we've got the hood release 
and then we've got our auto engine start button. The auto engine start button is really cool. It's sort of like your auto gen start, but you don't have a generator on the KL floor plan. So we've got the Volta pack. So once you drop below 30% on that, if you've engaged the auto engine start, it will automatically turn on, go to a high idle mode and charge for or run for an hour. And then it will do it as many times as it needs to to keep you above, above that 30% mark. There are two ways to activate the auto engine start. I'm gonna show you the one with the key fob. So you have to have your park brake on and then you're just going to hit the center button, the lock button, three times. You can see the dash is coming on, it beeps, and the engine started. Obviously I can't drive like this because my key's here, and if you look at the dot, the silver button now, it's red. So it's activated, it's in high idle right now. Now if I just want to set it and leave, I'm going to hit the brake turns off the engine and you'll see now that the dial is blinking red. So it's set. Good to go. I can leave the coach. All right. So now I'm back to the van. I can disengage the auto engine start now. Super easy. I'm just going to hit the unlock button or the top button three times. Lights turned off and now I'm back in control. So here we've got our mode for the dash. So we can just go into the menu and then we can scroll through buzzer volume, speed beep, and then we can exit the menu. Next uh, lever up is our lights. So I can go ahead and turn them on. I can do my turn signal up and down and then my brights. One touch forward will keep my brights on takes it off or I can just blink them if I need to. On the steering column we have the mute button for our radio and the volume control, so up or down, and then voice command, the horn, no big air horn on these. <laughs> and then over here we can pick up a phone call if we Bluetoothed in and hang up a phone call and this will allow us to search and seek on our radio. All right, this is the lever for our windshield wiper. So if we can just take it down, we can control the speed. Now, if we push it back up to start, we can push it down just one level and then we can adjust that interval and make it more specific. Pull it forward for the windshield wiper fluid and then our trip information is on the center dial here. So we're just gonna push through the information And then if you want to reset the trip information, you would just press and hold. Just below the ignition, we've got the aux input and the USB port. Now I've already plugged in my cord because a new feature for 2022 is we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which are great. So now I can play my music here or I can go to my maps. And there we are. Go ahead, put in my information. I can also go to my music, make a phone call, back to maps, or just go back to the radio. Now this is all new for 2022, so we've replaced the standard radio that you get with the Ram chassis to the Pioneer system. So again, that's gonna give us the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We can set up Alexa radio, we can Bluetooth in, and then we've got the settings, and of course we can make phone calls from here. Then we've got the AC and heat controls, so of course the fan speed, cold and heat, and then the direction of where we get that fan to hit us. So we have the running lights, so you're going to have your top lights on the front of the coach, yellow on the side, and then your running lights on the rear of the coach. So if you're coming to a campground at night and you don't want to have your headlights on once you get, you know, you're setting up camp, you can just turn on those running lights and it, it kind of gives you some light, but not too much light and people know you're there. Electronic stability control. So this is always on. If you need to turn it off for some reason, you can do it right here. Your hazards and then lock and unlocking your coach. USB charging port. 
Now that's not going to hook up to your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. This is just for charging. And then 12 volt cup holder here. Three cup holders down below and a little spot for your cell phone. So at the very top of the dash, I've got my clipboard. If I need to, you know, attach anything important there, I can leave it there. And then, so new for 2022, talked about it a little bit outside, but I really love this feature and you're gonna see why right now. So I've got my rear view mirror and I can look out and I've got my regular view. So if I wanna see the occupants of the van, I can look through this and I can see out my windows, but then all I have to do is just tilt it and look at that. I can see, it's like perfect view of what's outside. So I can push this button here and I can change the brightness and then push it one more time. Now I can change the angle. So check out all those beautiful RVs. <laughs> but so if I want more of a horizon view or more of a hitch view, I can adjust that. But you're gonna see this when I'm doing the test drive here in a second. It's so clear you kind of forget that you're looking through the camera because it just looks like you're looking through your rear view mirror. So it's a digital rear view mirror. So in the dash here from the co-pilot seat, I've got storage here. Nice storage there too. So you can lay your cell phone and stuff and they're not gonna rattle around. More storage here. This chair is gonna work just like the other chair, but one thing I forgot to show you is if you need to adjust the armrest. So there's just a little dial here that you just roll with your fingers and then get that to the level that you like it and it will lock into place. Okay, headed out on my test drive in the Travato. Uh, you have got to come to National Indoor RV Centers and take one for a test drive. It's really phenomenal it's so smooth i'm on a fairly rough road right now you can't even feel it but the sumo shocks they are a game changer i did a little off-roading <laughs> earlier today and i was like man this is so smooth but it's those sumo shocks they really do make a difference um, remember you've got a couple other things that come standard in the travato you've got the wind assist so if there's a strong wind um, whatever side it's pushing towards it will break as needed um, kind of automatically help you and then we've got the blind spot monitoring. So if I were going to change lanes and there was someone in my right lane, that little triangle would light up in my side view mirrors. Now let's do the little test on the rear view mirror. I've got just the regular mirror on right now. I'm gonna flip that up. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? I mean, I'm telling you, I love that digital rear view camera. So you know that I always like to do the decibel reader so that you can see how quiet it is inside the van. 67.1, that's how quiet it is. And that's with my AC running. I've got the AC running. I'm charging my Volta system as we go and keeping the van cool inside and out. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the two Travados today. So I'm sure you're wondering what it would cost you to get into one of these. So the KL with the Volta um, Lithium Power Pack is going to be MSRP of $173,929. And the G model, which has the generator, is going to be $130,564 MSRP. Now, if you want to know what I can sell them to you for, please give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. 469-277-1330. I'm going to say it again. 469-277-1330 or you can go to our website nirvc.com and you can see all the coaches that we have available we try to make the process of buying a coach or a van whatever it is so easy we'll take trade-ins we do consignments we do financing you can finance this for 20 years and we'll take care of that for you too so really just give us a call give us a chance to earn your business come visit us do a test drive promise you'll have a great experience with our volume and economies of scale rvs simply cost less with national indoor rv centers if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it please hit the like and subscribe also go and check out my winnebago factory tour video you'll know everything about winnebago you ever want to know and then check out my pro tank video and my tow package video thanks so much for watching have a wonderful day